Does anybody here get the ick <laughs> from age gap relationships? Assuming they're both adults uh, here. Depends how big the gap mm -hmm. is. I know, like, it's legally, you know, but... How about 35-25? Let's start there. Is that Does that give you the ick, anybody? Any mm. icks there? No, I'm 25. My husband's 33, so oh. it's pretty close. Okay. What about 30-20? Ick? No ick? Mm -hmm. Not yet. It gives me the <laughs> ick now, but... When I was 20, mm. I was dating a 38. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad so you now, said that. Thank you for saying I'm that. I'm glad Thank you, you said that. Because so a lot of women forget when that. When I look at that relationship, and I'm like, dude, you couldn't even drink. <laughs> like, at least go for a girl who you can buy a cocktail for legally. What if he doesn't drink? Well, even better. There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, I don't, if a woman wants to date, an older or older younger man in either direction that's fine both adults yeah both adults, adults but whatever. definitely get icky mm. vibes from if it's like too big the mm. age gap's too big how i'm just big curious like what's the huh how big is too big um what are we talking probably about probably more age than gap. like oh probably more than like 12 years okay that's I, fine. i'm just yeah. i want to hear from anybody here who I mean, I mean, some of you haven't really been vocal on this, 12, 12, yeah. but 12 was like, for those of you who would, would, would give the ick, let's say like a 30 year old with a 19 year old, something like that. Mm. That's um, criminal. Not what? technically in not not technically. It's not technically, <laughs> it sounds yeah. criminal though. It's under the age of 20. Like, do they even know what they, like, if, like, are their morals, are their ethics, are what they want in life aligned? Well, they are adults, and if they can make, if they can legally enter a contract, they can take out student loans that will indebt them for the rest of their life, racking up six figures of student loan debt. They can join the military and go die in some uh, overseas conflict. What else can you do uh, at that, that age? But that 19-year-old probably doesn't even know any better, I'm going to be honest, because they're going into college. Like, Let me ask, well, can a sh should a 19-year-old be allowed to do sex work? Um, like, can should a 19-year-old woman be allowed to start an OnlyFans? I mean, like, I'm not going to judge anyone for what they want to do. I mean, I personally wouldn't think so, but I, I don't know what the legalities are here. Well, okay, so it's uh, the age of consent is 18 right. in the United States. Okay. I think on the federal level. There's some states where it's all... It's, it's a lot of states where it's, six, it's, it's 16, it's lower, 17. But at yeah. the federal level, my understanding is oh. that it's 18. So, okay, so, but the example I gave was 30 and then 19. I'm, I would be curious to hear from anybody who does think it's... Besides it just giving you the ick can anybody actually make an like an argument for how it's wrong no, it's i think it's ick. weird for it, somebody i think it's bizarre Th that's the ick no 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 make if an the argument prefrontal cortex is undeveloped i'm pretty sure oh. that's fake news no it isn't no I'm, it isn't. it's i'm pretty sure my that dad's a neuroscience major cortex it is, is bullshit. not I'm my dad's sure a neuroscience it's major. It is not bullshit. So I thought it was. I, th I heard it was bullshit. But, but yeah. in its defense, though, it's decision making, judgment, executive functioning, those things, and mm. you could make the argument that dating has more so to do with emotion and sexual attraction, which is a completely different part of the brain. It would just be essentially them mm. making decisions. Well, we don't really make good decisions in dating regardless. 45-year-olds still make terrible decisions when it comes to the partners that they choose. Damn. So I don't really agree with the prefrontal cortex being a valid argument because it has more to do with just overall executive functioning and decision-making. And attraction is really illogical and irrational a lot of Wait, time. and is this for the prefrontal cortex? I'm assuming you're arguing that it's for both men and women, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Both men and women? Yeah. Okay, so then should we raise the voting age to 25? I would have to look more into... Uh, what do you honestly. mean? You already have the data. The prefrontal cortex isn't fully developed until 25. Yeah, but I actually did think that it affected more emotional as well. So, I, But I don't have... A, it, you're, not, you're not wrong, but I don't think it has a substantial effect on dating outcomes. It, it, it will more so be I able it, it, it's, it's, it's more so gauging long term consequences of your actions and that's what I'm saying in Dayton because it's so attraction based and it's so emotion, emotionally based it's hard to determine what you know what I'm saying like the decisions think, you would make I don't think so because I think that when an older much older man pursues a woman with 
the lack of those abilities to make sound sa as sound decisions and emotional intelligence and really is just running off of I, I don't know but, but why would that only be dating though she's subjected to having to make adult decisions everywhere else in life that's why he said voting college debt a whole bunch of things that you gauge long-term consequences okay what's Military. my outlook look like if i do this what are the consequences what are risks what are the ramifications if you i don't can make feel like it would hurt to delay voting to 25 Wait, so, and just to be clear, you, you, you framed it like when it's an older man dating a younger woman, do you have the same obje objection when it's an old, same age yes, woman dating yes, a, a younger 100%. man? Yes, 100%. Although it tends to be a bit more rare. Um, so, I'm trying to think. So you're fine with increasing the voting age then? Yeah. Yeah, she just said, yeah, okay. she's fine with that. All right. Huh, okay. Uh, Anybody, any, I think that's it. And then for you, uh, you said, to be honest, everyone is entitled to living a life they are comfortable going to bed with. However, I'm extremely, I guess, quote unquote, pure oh. in my ways. So I guess some things that others do may shock me, but nevertheless, no disrespect or disagreement with what they do to make themselves happy. So you mean like saluting around, like being a strumpet? No, like, I mean, like, I'm very like pure in a sense of I've never smoked, I've never mm -hmm. done drugs, I've never drank alcohol, I barely, I think I've went gone clubbing like three. Yes! Oh God, you this is, that's awesome. Cup? Is that an alcohol beverage? Yeah, you want me to make you a cup? No, 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 I'm oh, fine, okay. thank okay. you. No, it's like a personal choice. Like, okay. uh, but see like if my friends were to drink or if my friends wanted to smoke or anything like that, oh my God. <laughs> She wants one. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm like okay. if anyone like wanted to do it around me, I would never judge them, I guess, because in a sense of people get happiness from different things and I'm not one to sabotage or jeopardize their happiness for anything. 